All right. Ah. Uh, now, uh, uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, oh no. Okay. No. Yeah. No. This this spray is not for me. The whole education system is teaching us not to believe our senses. What you talking about, Mr. D? <laughs> like the, the, the model they show, the ball earth model with a crust on the outside and the outer mantle and the inner mantle and the outer core and the inner core. Guess what? They've only ever dug eight miles down into the crust, so they don't even know what's beneath that. The next time you see a pregnant woman walking on the street, politely stop her and ask her to let you cut open her stomach so you can see with your own eyes the baby grow inside her tummy. Otherwise, how are you to know she's not just a fatty? There's gotta be a better way! It took them almost 30 years to get there and they couldn't get any further in the Russian Kola Ultra Deep, it's called. So it's all speculation as to these, these layers of the ball earth they claim exist. It appears Eric Dubay never got past Jules Verne with his understanding of geology. I would say I'm surprised, but I'm not. We're still falling! Ah! And it's the inner layer of molten magnetic core, whatever they claim, creates the, um, the magnetism of the Earth. And so this is another funny thing. They, they claim that the core that we've never gotten to, uh, so they can't be confirmed, existed. Denying the varied composition of the Earth means Eric must deny seismic evidence. In denying seismic evidence, Eric must also deny Snell's Law of Refraction. I imagine Eric gets very confused when he looks at a straw in a glass of water. It's game over, man! It's game over! What the fuck are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do? Causes a uh, magnetic effect on the ball Earth, so that at one point, at the top of the ball, is a pole, and at the exact opposite point on the ball is an opposite magnetic pole. The problem with getting your science from the scientifically illiterate is that they get their facts wrong. The geomagnetic pole is not a dipole, it is only modeled as a dipole. Since Eric does not know this small but important distinction, he propagates a falsehood as evidence for the flat earth. He is selling you a lie. But this doesn't exist anywhere in nature. You can't find a, a sphere, and at one point on the, the magnetic sphere, it will cause another magnetic sphere to stick to it in that little point, and then uh, not, and, and then pull, push away from the opposite point. Uh, it doesn't exist like that. Only bar magnets can do that. Um, what do exist, however, are ring magnets, and those are shaped just like the flat Earth model, where the pole is in the middle and then the opposite pole is actually every point along the circumference. I could go into how Eric Dubay does not understand magnets. Fucking magnets! How do they work? But that's a non-starter. The important point to make, and the reason why dynamo theory exists, is that the Earth's magnetic field is dynamic, not static. By that I mean it is constantly moving and changing, something a permanent magnet would not be able to do. So the magnetic explanation, which a lot of people will bring up, well, how does magnetism work if we're on a flat Earth? You know, the accepted model is that it's this spinning molten magnet stuff in the, the core that creates this kind of north-south ball magnet. That is correct. Which doesn't actually exist anywhere in nature. Wrong. Yet the ring magnet, which is the... It's, it's in loudspeakers and other other things. Uh, that's the flat Earth model, and that actually does exist. So that's an actual magnet instead of an imaginary magnet, like they claim exists. And the and we'll actually admit that I don't know what's under the flat Earth. We've only gone eight miles down, and we haven't gotten to the bottom of the Pacific. Uh, all I know is, as far as we can tell, the water is completely flat, and the land is flat, other than hills, valleys, and mountains over a long period of uh, space, there's no convex or concave curvature. It's totally flat. Yeah, and I guess you could say science is designed exactly how economics and taxes are designed. The increasing complexity makes it so the average individual just has to trust the experts. You can follow it to a certain point, but then most people say, well, that's a little bit beyond me, but there's experts out there. They know what they're doing. 
Modern science is not some mystical world of magic and make-believe. Modern science is grounded in evidence-based experimentation. If the math looks too difficult for you, Um, I'm sure that this fractional reserve banking system, this debt-based system of rule, is just fine. <laughs> you know, um, I'm sure the taxes I'm paying are totally fair. They've got the code. They got the big book. You know, they wouldn't overcharge me. They wouldn't, you know, pull any scams on me. And you could apply the same thing to, of course, science. But it's just... To what degree? This is a really far out degree. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I mean, our eyes and experience tell us the earth is flat and motionless and everything in the sky revolves around us. But when we cease to believe our own eyes and experience, we have to prostrate ourselves at the feet of these very pseudo scientists who are blinding us, treat them as experts, astronomical priests. Bow before your king! Bow, you shits! ...who have special knowledge only they can access, like the Hubble telescope. So by brainwashing us of something so gigantic and fundamental, it actually makes every other kind of lesser indoctrination a piece of cake. <laughs> what was his point? I have no idea. Dude, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Earth being the flat, fixed center of the universe around which everything in the heavens revolves gives a special importance and significance not only to Earth, but to us humans, the most intelligent among the intelligent designer's designs. Free us from thought and responsibility. By turning Earth into a spinning ball thrown around the sun and shot through infinite space from a godless Big Bang, they turn humanity into a random, meaningless, purposeless accident of a blind, dumb universe. Mm -hmm. So it's like trauma-based mind control beating the divinity out of us with their mental manipulations. Uh, people are always asking, you know, why do they do this? I mean, this is, I mean, other than the obvious profit margin motive. Fell two, fell three, profit. Oh, I get it. No, you don't, fat ass. NASA being the biggest black budget black hole in existence, sucking in over $30 billion taxpayer money for the fake moon landings alone. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, hundreds of billions of dollars, and not just NASA, but RASA and all the other fake space organizations around the world, giving CGI images for hundreds of billions of dollars. If I was into making money at taxpayers' expense, I think I would probably go for a juicy Department of Defense gig over NASA. So this modern atheist big bang heliocentric globe earth chance evolution paradigm. Modern atheist big bang heliocentric globe earth chance evolution paradigm. Wow, that's a mouthful. That's a penis! Spiritually controls humanity by removing God or any sort of intelligent design and replaces purposeful divine creation with haphazard random cosmic coincidence. And I would have made millions if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. <laughs>